Hello everyone, welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. My name is Christina and this is your comprehensive guide on taking your note taking skills to the next level with good notes. In this video, we're going to dive into the digital world of note taking, showing you how to leverage the power of a PDF editor to enhance your experience with good notes. I'm also going to show you why good notes combined with a PDF editor is an amazing combo for students and professionals looking to improve productivity. So let's get ready to unlock a world of possibilities with GoodNotes and a PDF editor. By the end of this video, not only will you become a pro at using these tools, but you'll also discover innovative ways to streamline your note-taking process. In this video, we're diving into seven compelling reasons why GoodNotes and the PDF editor together are a game changer. And this video will be divided into seven key reasons. So make sure to use the timestamps in the video description to navigate through the different sections easily. Number one, image to text transformation. Let's explore a common scenario. You're using your good notes and your notebook is full of screenshots and scanned documents. One key limitation here is that the text in these images isn't searchable or editable, which can be a real annoyance in accessing information efficiently. This is where PDF Element comes into play. Start by exporting your notes as PDFs directly from GoodNotes, and then upload the files onto your computer. Once your note is in PDF Element, go to the Tools button and select OCR area. Choose your language and let the OCR process begin. Your previously static images are now transformed. Text is fully searchable and editable, enhancing your workflow and interactivity with your notes. Number two, expanded page margins. Another reason why using GoodNotes and the PDF editor like PDF Element together is so beneficial is that we often use GoodNotes for annotating directly on e-textbooks. But sometimes the margins are too narrow for ample note-taking. Let's see how this problem can be solved. Open the document that was previously processed by OCR. Select Size under the Organize button. Here you can adjust the page size, orientation and page range to your preference. Once done, apply these changes. And then remove the background under the Edit tab. This will make our document easier to read. Then move the text box to the appropriate position on the left so there will be ample blank space for taking notes. Now you can use PDF Elements comment feature for digital annotations, or take notes directly in GoodNotes on your edited e-textbook. Import this newly edited textbook back into GoodNotes. You'll notice there's significantly more space for annotations, making note-taking much easier. Number three, streamlined navigation with page links. Moving on to our third highlight. Have you ever felt navigating through GoodNotes could be smoother? Let's solve that together with PDF Element. In GoodNotes 6, the ability to insert page jump links represents progress. We can now press and hold the screen and click the Add Link button in the pop-up window to add a page jump link. However, returning to the previous view still requires adding another link or selecting the page number in the thumbnails, which is a bit inconvenient. How can we set up an invisible link? Let's switch to PDF Element. First, export your notes as PDFs. Then hit Combine PDFs. Now drag and drop your files here in the pop-up box. Click Add a new table of contents page from bookmarks. And let's watch how it transforms your document. You can get creative with your bookmarks and customize them. Click Edit Text under Edit and give your bookmarks some fun names. Right click to adjust the properties. We can also customize bookmark names and achieve page jumps through bookmarks in the left panel, which is very convenient. Almost there. Under the Edit section, you can find the Add Link option. Click it and then a pop-up box will appear in which you can add your link. In the appearance section of the pop-up box, change the mode to transparent color. 
and choose the page you need to jump to by clicking on it, then hit apply. We can also add a page jump link to any page and then use the first page button to go back to the previous page. This is present at the bottom of the page. Smooth navigation all thanks to a few simple tweaks in PDF Element. Number four, note flattening for security. Have you ever deleted notes in GoodNotes by mistake and find you couldn't undo it? It's a common issue we all face. While working in GoodNotes, you may find yourself in a situation where a note gets accidentally deleted. Sometimes you might not realize immediately when the note was deleted, missing the opportunity to use the undo function effectively, which may lead to you losing important notes forever. Here, the importance of flattening notes becomes particularly prominent. Flattening notes is crucial for security, preserving content, easy sharing, effective file management, and reliable backups. Don't forget that in the settings of exporting files in GoodNotes, there is a built-in option for the PDF data format. We can directly choose flatten PDF when exporting notes. Additionally, we can also flatten notes directly in PDF element after editing. Both of these methods are a good choice. If unflattened notes can be erased, let's try flattening them and see what happens. In PDF element, go to tools and click flatten and then save your document. Check out the flatten PDF. When we use the eraser tool again, the notes cannot be erased after being flattened. It's now non-editable, securing your notes against accidental deletions or alterations. You can now read these notes in PDF element or bring them back into GoodNotes, ensuring your notes remain intact and safe. Number five, file compression for efficiency. For our fifth reason, let's address another common issue. Files that take up too much memory, slowing down your device. This is where PDF Elements compression feature becomes a lifesaver. Let's open a large PDF that's eating up your storage. In PDF Element, click Compress. Choose a compression mode that suits your needs. You can even compress multiple files at once with batch processing. After compression, notice the significant reduction in file size. This means more storage space and faster file handling. Compressing files not only saves valuable storage, but also ensures faster transmission, easier sharing, quicker loading, and protects data integrity. Now with smaller file sizes, you can manage your PDFs in GoodNotes more efficiently, enjoying abundant storage space for all your note-taking needs. Number six, enhanced security with password protection. The sixth reason involves the security of your notes. Ever looked at your well-crafted notes and templates in GoodNotes and wish you can add a lock to them? In PDF Element, click on Protect, then Encrypt. Here you can set an open password to restrict access to your PDF. For more control, check the Permission Password box. This allows you to restrict actions like copying, editing, or printing your notes. Choose your desired encryption level for maximum security. Then save your now protected PDF. There you have it. Your notes are now securely locked with a password in PDF element, ensuring they stay just as you intended them to be. Number seven, free customizable templates. Our seventh and final reason looks at templates in GoodNotes. While GoodNotes offers a variety of beautiful templates, many come at a cost. So here is a great solution, PDF Elements Template Mall. You can go to the start page in PDF Element and find the template button. And you can enter into the template mall for free. It's a great place to find many free templates for all your needs. Explore categories like business, education, and more. Each category is filled with many stunning free templates. All you have to do is find one you like and click edit now. And watch how you can easily customize it right within PDF Element. Don't forget to save your changes. But that's not all. Once you've tailored your template in PDF Element, you can also import it into GoodNotes. This allows for even more personalization. So why limit yourself? With PDF Element, you get access to an extensive array of free templates, ready to be used and customized in GoodNotes. Expand your creative possibilities without spending any extra. 
So there you have it. We've journeyed through the powerful combination of GoodNotes and PDF Element, uncovering seven key reasons to enhance your digital note-taking experience. I hope this tutorial has been insightful and helps you to make the most of these fantastic tools, whether you're on your desktop or using an iPad. Thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful, please show your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to also turn on those notifications to stay up to date with the latest videos packed with more tips and tricks to streamline your digital workflow. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and happy note taking.